Hi everybody, I am Serdar. I am an AWS and DevOps instructor at Clarusway. In the previous lesson, we saw how Elastic Load Balancer manages traffic between our existing resources, in other words, instances. But what if we want to automate the increasing or decreasing of our existing virtual machines, I mean EC2s when demand changes over time? We call auto-scaling that makes this process in AWS for us. Amazon EC2 auto-scaling is a component that helps you ensure that you have the correct number of Amazon EC2 instances available to handle the load for your application. Thanks to auto-scaling, we can add or remove a new virtual machine when it is necessary. You can expand your system to respond to that demand according to the size of the request you receive and automatically collapse when the demand decreases. Today I am going to show you how to set our auto-scaling on AWS console. If you are ready, let's get started. While creating an auto-scaling, first we need to launch configuration or launch template. Auto-scaling will create a new instance according to the features determined by launch configuration or launch template. While creating an auto-scaling group, we can choose either launch configuration or launch template that we created before. Instead of using launch configuration for auto-scaling, AWS recommends us to use launch templates and get the latest features from EC2. Let's go on with launch template. First of all, we need to get our AWS console using our AWS credential. Click services button on top of the page and click EC2. In the EC2 AWS Management Console, select Launch Templates from the left-hand menu and then click Create Launch Template to start. This is Create Launch Template web page. Let's uh, enter a name as First Launch Template. And then uh, template version description, uh, the initial version of my launch template for auto scaling group. And we should choose uh, one of Amazon machine image. I am going to select uh, Amazon Linux to ME. Uh, I'm going to select uh, instance type as uh, T2 Micro. Uh, it's also free tier eligible. We should select uh, one of our payer name, key payer name. I'm going to select the uh, Sardar. For network settings, we select VPC as networking platform and choose one of our default subnets as subnet. I'm going to select this one. After that, we select our, one of our existing security groups, which allows SSH and HTTP connections. And uh, I'm going to select uh, this one. Uh, if you don't have any security group here, you can create a new one, by the way. And I am going to keep them as are uh, the rest of the settings. But uh, I want to create a user data at the bottom of the page and uh, I'll paste my user data here and I'll first of all I'll update my yum package with this user data and I'll install Apache server on my launch template after that we can push this create launch template uh, button it says uh, successfully created uh, we can go directly our auto scaling group page uh, pushing this button create auto scaling group from now on we are going to create our auto scaling group with these seven steps i am going to give a name for my auto scaling group as first auto-scaling group 
I am going to select my uh, launch template. It has already here. Click next button. The second page is configure settings. Key purchase options and instance types set to adhere to the launch template to use the EC2 instance type and purchase options specified in the launch template. As you remember, we selected T2 Micro, which is free. For network, choose the default VPC. It's automatically configured to provide internet connectivity to your instances. This VPC includes a public subnet in each availability zone in the region. For subnet, choose one or more subnets from each availability zone that you want to include based on the availability zones the load balancer is in. I am going to select all of them. Click Next button. In the third step, which is Configure Advanced Options, we are going to select uh, Attach to an existing load balancer under Load Balancing section. Uh, under Attach to an existing load balancer, choose Load Balancer Target Groups and then select the uh, My Target Group, which is I created before. And to use Elastic Load Balancing Health Checks, uh, choose ELB under Health Checks section. You are going to see Health Checks Grace Period and the Health Check uh, Grace Period means the amount of time until EC2 Auto Scaling Performance, the first health check on new instances after being put into service. Leave it as default 300 seconds and click Next. In the fourth step, which is Configure Group Size and Scaling Policies, we specify the auto-scaling group size by changing the desired capacity. We can also set minimum and maximum capacity limits. Our desired capacity must be within the limit range. An auto-scaling group will start by launching as many instances as are specified for desired capacity, Suppose there are no scaling policies or scheduled actions attached to the auto-scaling group. In that case, Amazon EC2 auto-scaling maintains the desired amount of instances performing periodic health checks on the instances in the group. Unhealthy instances will be terminated and replaced with new ones. If you choose to scale your group automatically, the maximum limit lets Amazon EC2 Auto Scaling scale out the number of instances as needed to handle an increase in demand. The minimum limit helps ensure that you always have a certain number of instances running at all times. Let's make desired capacity 2 and minimum capacity 1 and the maximum capacity 4. We want dynamically resize our auto-scaling group to meet change in demand. So we select target tracking scaling policy. We specify first policy as name. And for metric type, we choose average CPU utilization, which is widely used in scaling policies. And let's specify 70 as a target value for the metric. This means it executes policy when CPU utilization is over 70%. We put an instance warm-up value for instances need. This allows us to control the time until a newly launched instance can contribute to the CloudWatch metrics. If you want to create a separate scale in policy of different type if needed, then you can select disable scale into create only a scale out policy. We don't select here. Click on next and go on add notifications. Here you can create SNS topics to notify you via email whenever Amazon EC2 Auto Scaling launches or terminates the EC2 instances in your Auto Scaling group. We don't create any notification this time, so click Next and go on at Text.
You can add text to help you search, filter, and track your auto-scaling group across AWS. Let's skip this time and choose Next. If everything seems good on the review page, click Create Auto-Scaling Group. Everything seems great and click Create Auto-Scaling Group. Our auto scaling group uh, is creating right now. I am going to close my video and uh, start it again when the desired capacity is going to be set. Our auto scaling group is running right now. You can see desired capacity, minimum and maximum values as well in here. Let's uh, verify a scaling activity for an auto-scaling group. Uh, select the checkbox uh, next to the auto-scaling group. Add split pane opens up in the bottom part of the auto-scaling groups page, showing information about the group that's selected. On the activity tab, under activity history, the status column shows uh, whether your Auto scaling group has successfully launched or terminated instances. On the instance management tab, here it is. Under instances, you can view the status of the currently running instances. The lifecycle column contains the state of your instances here. Note that it takes short time for an instance to launch. After the instance starts, its lifecycle state changed to in-service. And then you can see the health status of your instances. As a final step, let's test our auto-scaling. I am going to connect to EC2 with the terminal and install a stress application to increase the machine's CPU load. Before we install Stress Tool on our EC2 instance, let's have a look at our Auto Scaling Group console one more time. Because of we have set uh, the minimum capacity is 1, our desired capacity has set is 1 by Auto Scaling Group. Because our CPU utilization is less than 70%. When you look at the instances part, you can see the instances that has created by auto scaling group. Let's connect to the EC2 instance, copy IPv4 address and come to the terminal ssh-i serdar.pem and ec2 user at IPv4 and yes. Yes, we are in the EC2 instance. I am going to uh, install stress tool into this instance. I am going to copy and paste the commands. Yes. And then install stress. And then again, yes, yes, and it has completed. With this command, our, our uh, CPU is going to be 80. I am going to stop my video right now, and then I will start when Auto Scaling Group launches new instance. Average CPU utilization of our EC2 instance is greater than 70. Because of this, uh, our auto-scaling group's status is updating capacity right now. And desired capacity uh, has been set as 2 by auto-scaling group. And if you come to the activity subsection and uh, let's have a look at the activity history, you can see the status of our auto scaling group waiting for instance warm up and also you can see the why the new instance is creating 
As a result, when the CPU usage increased, our autoscaling started to create new instances to handle the request. As you can see, in this session we have learned how autoscaling group automatically and dynamically scales your instances on behalf of you. We can add or remove a new instance when it is necessary. With autoscaling, you can also define specific rules and create a new resources in the system according to these rules. Thanks for watching. See you in the following sessions. Till then, keep in touch with Colorsway community.